Hello and thank you for subscribing to Infoverse Tech. This is a channel where we explore new trends in technology. And today we are going to look at cloud computing and a utility called AZ Copy, which allows us to copy between storage accounts. And um, uh, I've already earlier recorded a couple of tutorials using AZ Copy on Windows and using both SAS, which is a shared access signature method, as well as OAuth, which is Azure Active Directory. And uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how you can uh, copy files between a Linux box and Azure and vice versa. And um, uh, we're going to use SAS today. And uh, in uh, a following tutorial, I will also show you how you can copy files between Linux, uh, a Linux box and Azure using OAuth or Azure Active Directory. And I'll make sure to uh, link those um, tutorials in the uh, video here. So let's get started. Um, like I said, uh, AZ Copy is a command line utility that can be used to copy files or blobs between a source and destination, typically storage accounts. It can also be used to copy between um, the different uh, public clouds. And um, you can download the AZ Copy executable and uh, to any directory on your computer and since it's an executable it doesn't need any installation just runs directly so let me um, uh, give you a quick detail about my environment so i'm running centos 7 on a vmware workstation 16 player and um, i have a couple of uh, terminals open and uh, i also have uh, firefox running and i just want to give you a quick um, uh, look at uh, a utility that I find very useful especially when I'm working with uh, Windows and Linux it's called WinSCP it's freely available and uh, on the right hand pan you s right hand pane you see uh, a Linux uh, server and on the left hand side you have Windows and you have those directories so you can copy files between the two systems so very useful when um, using Windows and Linux together now, the first thing we need to do is to download a copy of AZ Copy. And now we can do the easy way, which is to open a browser in our Linux box, head over to uh, the Microsoft site, and download this uh, x86-64. So this is the easy way. Everybody can do this. But I just want to show you uh, another uh, tool, which is called wget and um, it's just uh, used from the command line so very simple to use and I, I thought it'd be nice to introduce you to this uh, you, this uh, little tool so the syntax is let me just copy it here and let me move it into so let me check I am in home in infoverse so let me move it to so since I've already downloaded it let me show you how to do it in on the temporary directory and so this is a command very simple wget and then you need to add the full URL to that file so it's az copy under, underscore Linux that's the file and that's the whole path so once I hit enter it's going to connect and download that file so very simple to run uh, very fast as well and now since it's downloaded uh, let me just quickly check um, you can see that in red that's the gz file so i need to do tar xvf which is ex um, extract verbose a file and let me copy the file name here so once i run that it uh, creates a directory and within that directory is our executable so let me switch to that directory and you can see that that in green is the easy copy since i've already done that um, i'll head over to the other location where I have that downloaded okay so um, let's get started the first thing we want to show you is how I can copy a file from my Linux box to Azure and on the Azure side I have um, the following setup already I have a storage account which I've used previously if you watch my other videos uh, I, I'm just reusing that so that's the and I have Infoverse blob 1 and Infoverse blob 2 as you can and let's quickly peek inside they should be empty and 
this one as well so both are empty and uh, so let's go back to our Linux box and let me show you the command that we need to copy a file from our Linux box into Azure so what we're going to do is uh, we want to copy uh, a file called truck.jpg in an images folder so if I do an ls here and that's my file location and in my home I can I see an images document so let me go there uh, so I have a few files and I'm, I'm looking to upload truck.jpg now let's enter that command here so the command says um, now this is just pointing to the uh, Azure copy instance or executable so that's my my home directory the downloads folder the az copy which after tar uh, that created that directory and inside that that's the executable and this is where the command actually starts so it's cp copy and i'm specifying the source which is uh, my home infoverse the images folder and a file called truck.jpg which i shown you just uh, here as well just now right here you can see okay and the destination is a location on the that container so if you can read that you have the full path to the blob blob.core.windows.net slash infoverse blob one followed by the uh, SAS the shared access signature which like I said it uh, allows you granular control uh, over your service and it's available for a short period of time or you can specify the time period so let's uh, quickly show you how you can get that information and put that in a in a script like I have so uh, if you're in the Azure copy storage uh, account and you hit uh, shared access signature yeah, you have to select one of these services where you want that to be applicable and then it it shows you how to generate that so once you click that it'll take a few seconds to generate a um, SAS um, value or token which you can then copy back um, additionally if you look at the command here we notice that you have the full path to the uh, to the uh, container so how do we get that uh, we can go into containers we can select uh, one of the containers and if I go into properties that shows me the whole path and I can just do a copy and um, that's the one that I'm using right now okay so let's go back and uh, the command looks okay so it's appended by the SAS starting after this question mark SV and that the whole um, part is that SAS token so let's run that okay it seems to be running fine and it says number of uh, transfers one and transfers completed one very good so let's go to infoverse blob one and you can see that you should have that truck.jpg now let's go back quickly and just by changing let's say we want to send it to blob 2 all we need to do is using the same shared access signature and why we can um, use the same SAS signature here because uh, I applied it on the storage account so anything that I create under that storage account like these two containers automatically applies to them but I can be more granular and have a separate shared access um, token for Infoverse blob 1 and blob 2 but to make it uh, simpler I just have the same so changing nothing except the container if I hit enter we copy the same file to infoverse blob 2 and you can see it's landed here great so so far so good uh, let me show you how I can copy a directory um, from Linux machine to Azure okay and uh, the syntax is very similar in place of a file we specify a whole directory so let me show you the command 
So it's going to be it's going to be um, uh, don't worry about the uh, the error I, uh, I, I'll fix that so the command is uh, home Infoverse similar this is where the command starts so copy and we are specifying home Infoverse and the images folder and the destination is in this case again blob1 and what we need to specify is recursive equals true so that it copies everything in that all the contents of that of the directory so let's uh, hit that and uh, let's go over here so it's uh, doing something looks uh, good okay so total number of transfers six total completed six so let's go into infoverse blob one and you see it copied the whole folder and if you look into the folder you got everything that uh, we have in that folder copied here uh, with the same token we can just so simply replace this command um, with the blob 2 and it will do the same for blob 2 so if I go here and I change that to blob 2 and hit enter we can see if you go to blob 2 It should populate it here as well so there you go okay and the last thing I want to show is uh, how I can uh, copy or download a file from uh, from my Azure um, container back into my local machine so the command to do that would be reverse so uh, the source would be the would be Azure container uh, or storage account and destination would be a Linux machine let's see how we can do that so what I've done is uh, it, let me just do it ls and you can see I have a directory called from Azure just to make sure that we are able to copy here and if I look inside it's it's empty so let's run that command let me paste it here so what we're doing here is uh, again that's the whole path to that executable copy uh, we have the source this time and we are saying under the images uh, folder there's a file called truck.jpg uh, bring it down or copy it to our folder here in uh, my home folder home in infoverse slash images slash from inverse so let's run that and see if that works okay so it is copying something okay so looks like it's successful so let's see it would have copied here so if I go and I'm just checking who I am in the from Azure so previously it was blank if I do an LS now you can see you have the truck.gpg copied now similarly I can also copy multiple files so all I need to do is um, specify a wildcard and it would uh, copy all those files into this folder so let me run that command so again um, this is all the way the executable then you have the actual command and you have source as the uh, infoverse blob one images and you can see after uh, the images uh, folder I have a forward slash followed with an with the wildcard which indicates anything in that folder to be copied and again the destination is the home Azure where we just copied truck.jpg so let, let's run that and uh, it does seem to be running so six pending so there were six files in that folder it seems okay so it's running it's um, doing some work so it's six, still at 26.9% okay looks like it was successful so if I do an LS uh, let me show you uh, I am in this directory and if I do an LS so you see all the files from that um, images folder under the infoverse blob one container in Azure has been successfully copied um, on your Linux box so that was a quick um, uh, tutorial 
to show how you can do um, copy between Linux and Azure using SAS shared access signature I'll follow it up with uh, uh, AZ copy on Linux um, using OAuth which is uh, Azure Active Directory so thank you for watching and be sure to hit the subscribe button